This week, Rob took a day off to go pick up 32-year-old woodworking tools. Which means I got to play in the workshop with Sarah. That's right, and together we made a pretty cool project that you can hang on your wall. It's time for a make or break. Hey guys, I'm Jen. And I'm Sarah. And like I said, Rob is off today. He took his first day off in like, what, nine years? Something like Something that. Something like that. Well, even on his day off, he's making a 16 hour round trip to Alabama today to pick up his father's 32 year old jet cabinet saw and jet jointer for a shop. So even on his day off, he's still working yeah. like usual. That makes sense, right? 24 seven. So Jen joined me in the workshop this week to build a paper dispenser to hang in our office. And here's how it went. When we're working in the shop, we're always using our phones to keep track of our cut list, and that's not always convenient. Yeah, so I suggested to Rob and Sarah that they make a rolled paper holder for the wall so they can write on it whenever they want. And I thought that was a good idea, so we headed down to the shop and got started with some plywood. We first measured out the back support based on the width of our paper roll. Then we used the circular saw to cut it out. I decided to cut off the corners of our side supports with a 45 degree miter, just because I thought it looked pretty. Next we used a Forstner bit to cut out a hole that would support our 3 quarter inch dot rod. Then we drilled the same holes in our swing arms. These will allow the roll of paper to swing back against the wall, keeping our paper flat. Then we put everything together to make sure it fit so we could cut our dowels down to size. Next, we used pocket holes to attach the back plate to our side supports. We used a couple clamps and a 2x4 to hold the two pieces in place while we drove in the screws. Now to keep our dowel rods in place, we decided to drill tiny holes in them so we could drive an even smaller dowel. And by the way, drilling into a dowel without a drill press is a challenge. We ended up pinching it between two 2x4s and doing our best. Which worked! Then it was time to paint. Sure, Rob would have loved a manly blue or maybe a black, but he's not here. So what'd you pick, Jen? The only color worth painting, teal. So cute! And manly. Now at the bottom of the wall, we needed a strip for holding the paper in place and tearing it off. Yeah, so we cut a strip of wood, which we forgot to paint teal, and planned to screw on an old bandsaw blade onto the back. But we realized pretty quick that the screws would end up in the way, so instead we used CA glue, which worked fine. And as you see here, the bandsaw blade worked. Yep, and now we can easily write things we need to remember on the wall, and when we're done, just roll it away. All right, what do you think? I like it. I really loved working with you in the workshop. Yes. I think we should do it more often. Oh, I 100% agree. We should make Rob take days off more often. Sounds good. Where can we send him next? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's share some of our favorite maker videos from this week. So mine is from Fisher's shop. He built this ultimate coffee table slash gaming table complete with game piece holders for each player. This is perfect for a family game night. Do you remember making those giant snowflakes out of paper when you were little? Yes. Why? Well, Neil from Past Makes made this own version where he used shaved curls from scrap wood, laminated them, and turned the strips into paper snowflake decorations. Look how pretty. Okay, those are really cool. Okay, so we didn't feature this in this episode, but Jen and I really took over the workshop today, and in addition to making the paper dispenser, we sort of went off script and made some fun Christmas decorations as well. You can find those over on the Belts and Boxes Instagram page. Last week, we built a desk for Jen, and you can find that right here. Thank you, Heart, for sponsoring this episode. And reminding us that we can do anything we imagine if we do it with Heart. All right, break's over. Let's make something. <laughs>